drinking from a broken cistern. But now I just want to breathe. Jesus. His yoke is easy, his burden is light. For he is meek and lowly, he is gentle inside. As simple as it sounds, it's simple yet profound. And so many never find it, they're too busy running around. As simple as it sounds, it's simple yet profound. We're starting in 30 seconds. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. They're too busy running around. But it's all about love. It's all about love. Love, love. Here we go. Good morning, everyone. Jennifer LeClaire here with you, Senior Leader, the Awakening House of Prayer in Fort Lauderdale, the epicenter for training, equipping, Holy Ghost Church-led life. Come by and visit us if you're in the region the founder of the Ignite Network, and of course the author of our devotional Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily 
to the still small voice of God. And speaking of the voice, today's devotion titled "Watch Your Words." And here's what I heard the Lord say: Be cautious not to engage in idle conversations, for you will give account of every idle word on the day of judgment. Be aware of the impact of the words you speak to bring life or death into situations and souls. Be vigilant about blessing and not cursing, for you reap what you sow and you eat the words of your mouth. Tend to the fountain in your heart, so it puts forth fresh water that refreshes the hearers and builds faith in their souls. That's a good word. I don't care where you're from. Today's scripture references Matthew chapter twelve, verse thirty-six. Proverbs chapter eighteen verse twenty one and Romans chapter twelve verse fourteen and the prayer starter for today help me to clearly help me to see clearly the power of life and death in my words so that I will speak only life over myself and others I don't want to speak idle words I don't want to speak harmful words help me avoid corrupt communication and let my speech. Edify others in Jesus' name, Father. We thank you today that you are worthy of our praise. You are good. Your words spoken over us are good. You are a God who blesses, and we bless you today, God. We bless you with everything in us. We love you with everything in us. We desire to be in your presence with everything in us, God. You are a good, good Father. You are great and mighty. The Lord is your name. You are. A warrior, you are the victor who never loses a battle. You win every time you step on the battlefield. You don't even have to lift your little finger. You just speak a word, and it's done. You just command your angels, and they're on assignment. You just fill us with your spirit, and we're emboldened. You've given us your name, the name above every name, the name at which every knee shall bow. It's an all-powerful name. When we speak. That word, when we speak that name, oh, demons begin to tremble and they begin to flee. They begin to slither away out of our presence. God, help us, Lord, to be presence-minded, presence-driven people. God, help us, Lord, to be motivated by Your love at every turn. Help our speech, God, to be seasoned with grace in Jesus' name. Lord, we want to be more like You, and we know that that means that You've got to whittle away some flesh. We know. That that means you've got to deal with some of the issues in our minds. We know that that means you've got to、uh, tweak our character, maybe even cast out some demons. But God, we're ready. We say, if there's anything in us, God, that's not pleasing to you, God, get it out of us. Oh Lord, if there's a root of bitterness, get it out of us. If there's a root of rejection, get it out of us. If there's a spirit of fear, God, get it out of us. Oh Jesus, we need you. And、we want to be more like you. We want to walk worthy of our calling. We want to bless and curse not. We want to see the way that you see. We want to know the way that you know. 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 You are all knowing. And even though we'll never be all knowing, we can know in part. We can see in part. You can show us the part you want us to see. You can tell us the part that you want us to know. Oh God, would you help us, Lord, to stop chasing the wind? Oh God, help us to stop. Chasing the wind, oh Lord, we want to ride the wind of your spirit, but we don't want to chase the wind like the preacher said in Ecclesiastes six and nine. It's useless. It's like chasing the wind. It's better to be satisfied with what you have than to always be wanting something else. Lord, help us, Lord, to stop chasing the wind and start chasing you. Help us, Lord, to stop chasing the childish things and start chasing you. God, help us to stop chasing. The foolish things of the world, and start chasing you, God. We mark ourselves today as God chasers, as a Holy Spirit riders. Oh, we're going to ride the wind of the Holy Spirit. We're not going to chase the wind of the world. God, help us, Lord, today to chase you with everything in us, to lay aside every weight and the sin that so easily besets us. God, help us to lay it all down at your feet and rise up and run our race with endurance. 
following after you, chasing after you with our whole heart, with everything in us, our mind, our soul, our strength. It all belongs to you. You are the giver of strength. You are the giver of life. You are the giver of our daily bread. We're going to chase you, but not for what you can give us, God, not for what you can do for us, God, not for, oh God, just because you are good and you are God and you are with us and you're never going to leave us and you're never going to forsake us even to the end of the age. We're going to stop chasing the wind. Oh, the Lord spoke to me so clearly. Don't chase the wind. Stop chasing the wind. So many of you who are listening to the sound of my voice are chasing the wind. You're chasing the bright, shiny object. You're chasing the object of your desire. And it's something that is not God's desire for you. Don't chase the idols. Don't chase the money. Don't chase the people. Chase your God. Stop chasing the wind. Stop going after that which he's not given into your hand. Stop trying to attain something that does not belong to you, that you're not supposed to have. I'll tell you something, beloved. If God doesn't want me to have it, I don't want it. If God's not putting it in my hand, I don't need it. If God is not raising me up to go to a place, I don't want to go there. Oh God, help us to be single-minded. Help us to be focused on your will and your will alone. God, you know if you tell us to do something, we'll do it. You know if you tell us to go somewhere, we'll go. You know if you tell us to pray, we'll pray. And God, if we've missed it in the past, if we've been slow to hear, if we've been slack with our hands, if we've been out of touch with your spirit, God, renew in us a right spirit create in us a clean heart God we want to go all the way with you we want to chase you across the finish line of eternity we want to chase your spirit all the way to the throne on that day and hear you say those words oh those words well done my good and faithful servant I thank you Lord that you will give us such a an endurance that we can chase you in all seasons we can chase you when it's going well and we can chase you when it's going not so well we can chase you when we're healthy and strong and we can chase you when we're weak and broken hearted we can chase you when we've got everything going our way when the momentum is at our back and we can chase you when we can't barely put one foot in front of the other go we want to be God chasers we're going to stop chasing the wind help us Lord to stop chasing the wind help us Lord to stop being tossed to and fro by every wind of doctrine Help us, Lord, to stay steady. Help us, Lord, to stay consistent. Help us, Lord, to stay stable. We don't want to be like the world, going this way one day and another way the other day. Oh, God, would you help us on this day to praise you, to see you for who you are. Open our eyes, God. Open our eyes, God. Open our eyes, God. Open our eyes, God. Open our eyes, God, so we can chase you. There's somebody listening to me, and you think you're chasing a God thing? And it's a good thing, beloved, but it's not a God thing. Oh, Lord, open our eyes so that we would see what we're really chasing. For many of you, says the Lord, have gone after that which seemed good in your sight. But my ways are perfect and my ways are higher than your ways, says the Lord. So stop chasing after that which looks good in your sight and start chasing after me. And as you chase after me, says the Lord, I am running and I am leading you toward that which is me, that which is of me. Me, that which I have ordained for you says the Lord as you chase after me says God you will run right smack dab into every blessing that I have prepared for you from before the foundations of the earth says the Lord so stop chasing that which seems good in your eyes and stop chasing that which your neighbor is chasing and what your friend is chasing and what all the people in your neighborhood and in your church and in your workplace are chasing says the Lord stop chasing after the promotion says God stop chasing after the healing says God stop chasing after the prophecy says God and start chasing after me for all these other things have a wind to them and a wind behind them but not everything carries my wind or is propelled forth by my wind says the Lord for my Holy Spirit is represented by wind and I will cause him to lead you and guide you into all truth I will cause him by his wind to lead you and guide you with great momentum says God I will 
cause him by his wind to lead you and guide you into that place of healing and into that place of promotion and into that place which I've promised you so stop chasing the wind says the Lord stop chasing after that even which I've told you belongs to you and start chasing me stop chasing the promises and start chasing me stop chasing the promises and start chasing me for I am a God of promise and when you find me you will find all of the promises in my hands and when you find me you when you really find me when you find my heart when you find my heart when you find my heart says the Lord you will see and know that everything I have in my hands belongs to you and is at your disposal for I am not a God uh, that lies I am not a man that I should lie I am not the son of man that I should repent I said it and I mean it so stop chasing after that which seems right in your own eyes says the Lord for many times the end of that thing is destruction and sorrow and pain and regret oh but when you chase after me you're chasing after life in abundance to the full until it overflows you're chasing after the very life of my spirit says the Lord hallelujah yeah my show brush day yet a baba shake please ye six and nine it is useless it is like chasing the wind it is better to be satisfied with what you have than to always be wanting something else God give us a holy contentment Paul said I've learned the secret I've learned the secret in both abasing and abounding in having a little and having a lot and having everything I want and having nothing that I need Paul said I've learned the secret I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me so Lord let that be our confession let that be our confession as we chase after your heart as we chase after your spirit let that be our confession when we grow weary let that be our confession when we see others around us who seem undeserving getting promoted let that be our confession God day and night night and day I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me I can do everything through my God who gives me strength I can do it I can do it I can do it because he's already done it he's already made a way for me he's already made a way for you he's already provided everything you need all things pertaining to life and godliness they belong to you it's all there for you all you have to do is access it by your faith beloved all you have to do is pull it down by faith tap into it by faith beloved everything is in your spirit everything you need to do what God has called you to do it's all in your spirit the strength is in your spirit the wisdom the knowledge it's in your spirit God has equipped you for a mighty mighty victory I said you're not defeated and I break the power of defeat over your life I say you are victorious in the name of Jesus somebody listening to me you're you're like out of breath you're on you feel like you're on your last breath you're huffing and you're puffing in the spirit you feel as if you cannot take another step forward you feel as if you're going to have a nervous breakdown you feel as if everything in you is just about to just dry up and you just feel dry on the inside empty on the inside hopeless on the inside and I break the cycle of demonic pressure off your life now in the name of Jesus I come against it by the blood of the lamb I say I speak life over you now in the name of Jesus this vicious circle this demonic cycle over you to make you feel like you never will to make you feel like you never did to make you feel like you never can I break it in the name of Jesus and I say over you no weapon formed against you shall prosper but every tongue that has risen against you even your own tongue that has spoken in doubt even your own tongue which has spoken in unbelief even your own tongue which has spoken out of fear your own tongue shall be shown to be in the wrong because even when we're faithless God is faithful even when we miss the mark God is there to catch us even when we oh God would you help us today help us Lord to believe you again help us Lord to believe you again help us Lord to believe you that your voice will be the loudest voice that we hear help us Lord 
there's somebody listening to me and you're hearing so many voices and it's almost like you feel like you're losing your mind you're hearing voices that are suggesting horrifying things voices that are telling you to do things that you know are wrong and you're hearing them and you know it's not you and you know it's not you and you know it's not you but your mind is getting overwhelmed you're getting weary you're getting hopeless you're getting depressed you're getting fatigued in the spirit you don't know what to do you cannot hear God he doesn't seem to be speaking but I submit to you today beloved and I say over you today that his voice will pierce the darkness and his light will overtake you and you will begin to see again and you will begin to hear again and you will begin to know again you will begin to run again and you will begin to see the future from the distance once again all is not lost it's not too late oh I break the power of discouragement and I break the power of overwhelm all for your life in the name of Jesus you will rise again the righteous man falls down seven times but he gets back up again he gets back up again he gets back up again and again and again and again and again and again and again he keeps getting back up beloved I don't know how many times you've fallen down I see somebody with some awfully skinned up knees some bruises and some battering on your body but the Lord would say to you today get back up and chase after me stop chasing the wind there's stumbling box on the path to the wind of the world but in my way you will see there is peace my yoke is easy and my burden is light says the Lord you will see and know that I am able to do what I've promised I have already done it there's already a place prepared for you says the Lord all you have to do is chase me and you will find it you will find your birthing place and you will find your resting place and you will find the place of your increase and the land of your favor and opportunity as you chase after me it's all there for you just keep your eyes on the prize says the Lord just keep your eyes on the prize I know you've suffered long says God I know you felt the pain of loss says the Lord I know that you have grieved and cried and watered your bed with with tears says the Lord but when you look to me you will find joy when you look to me you will find that joy that gives you strength because I am worth rejoicing in says the Lord it is worth it to believe me it is worth it to sow into my kingdom it is worth it to rejoice in me it is worth it to trust me says the Lord I won't ever let you down I won't ever let you escape my blessing I am your way of escape from the warfare says the Lord and you will see enough that I am God and you will have a testimony that defies the devil you will have a testimony that helps others find the faith and the hope that they need to continue running their race to continue chasing after me to stop chasing the wind to recalibrate their compass and to look up 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 from where their redemption draws and your testimony will set captives free but you must walk in your measure of freedom first so chase after me because I am your freedom I am all that you will ever need and I have all that you ever need and you will see and know that I am faithful and you will not you will not you will not regret chasing after me not a day in your life says the Lord you will not regret it you will not regret it it is not in vain it is not vain to serve me says the Lord it is not vain to serve me says the Lord it is not vain to serve me says the Lord it is not vain to serve me says the Lord but it is vain to chase the wind it is useless to chase those things that I have not ordained for you for you will chase around your tail in circles like a dog running around and around and around but when you chase me you will find me when you seek me early in the morning you will find me and I am a rewarder of those who diligently seek me and I'll reward you with the blessing that I have prepared for you. Just believe me, says the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We give you praise and honor and glory today. You are worthy of all of our praise. You are worthy of our devotion. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. There's no other God like you. You are worthy. Come on, somebody celebrate his goodness today. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You there's no other God like you. You are worthy. You are holy. 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 My God, my God, my God. God is good. God is good. 
God is good all the time. He never has a bad day. He never has a weak moment. He is your strength. He is the force of your life. He is the faith of your life. Oh, God, we praise you and we thank you as if it's already done. Whatever it is you promised us that keeps eluding us, God, we thank you as if it's already done. We praise you if it's already done. We're not going to chase the wind anymore. We're not going to chase our own ambitions anymore. We're not going to chase that which the Joneses have anymore. We're not going to compare ourselves to others anymore. We're not going to think less of ourselves than we ought to anymore. We're not going to think more highly of ourselves than we ought to anymore. But we're going to see who we are and know who we are and walk as who we are. I thank you, Lord, that as Christ was in the world, so are we. We thank you, Lord, that we are miracle workers, that we are way makers in Christ, that we are healed and whole in Christ, that we are righteous in Christ, that we are uh, delivered in Christ, we are healed in Christ. We are all of these things and more in Christ and we can do everything you've called us to do in the name of Jesus we give you praise and honor and glory we magnify your name hallelujah 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 yeah Oh, we give you praise. We honor you, God, with our lips. And we honor you, God, with our hearts. Oh, God, we're not going to say one thing today and say another thing tomorrow. I break the powers of that spirit of double-mindedness off of our life in Jesus name we will not say one thing tomorrow and one thing today and another thing the next day oh God we're going to be consistent we're going to be consistent with our speech we're going to be consistent with what we put our hand to we're going to be I speak consistency over you consistency 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 there's somebody listen to me and you you tried sowing into the kingdom you tried tithing and you didn't do you, you, you it's like you're like well I didn't work you got to be consistent 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 there's somebody that's been trying to lose weight and you've got to be consistent you got to be consistent you cannot eat one day good and the next day bad you got to be consistent you got to be con- somebody's trying to learn a new language and you, you start to get uh, some of this stuff figured out but then you take a week off and you lose your momentum you got to be consistent you got to be consistent you got to be consistent I thank you Lord for the power of perseverance over our lives in the name of Jesus help us to be consistent God Help us not to grow weary in our disciplines, God. Help us, Lord. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. God is good. The billion harvest soul is coming in. The billion soul harvest is coming in. The billion soul harvest is coming in. In Jesus' name. Let it be part of our family, God. In Jesus' name. Listen. I want to give you an opportunity to sow a seed today. I have a couple quick announcements, and I'm going to let you go for the weekend. It's 7.30 in Singapore on Friday night, and I will be back with you on Monday from Indonesia. Listen, if you want to sow into these, these missions, I want to give you an opportunity to do that, really. We come here at our own expense, and it is expensive. If you believe in the propagation of the gospel, if you believe in, uh, in, in forwarding signs and wonders so that those who don't know Christ can see that he is alive, I want you to consider sowing a seed today into the ministry. If this has helped you, if this broke something off you, if this caused something to rise in you, help us to do what God has called us to do in his name and for his glory. You can sow a seed today at jenniferleclair.org slash give. JenniferLeClaire.org slash give. JenniferLeClaire.org slash give. We've been to Australia in the past. Uh, we will go again when the Lord leads. One thing about us, we go where the Lord leads. We don't chase the wind. We don't chase the we just don't chase the wind. We're just not going to chase the wind. We're not going to chase the wind. We're going to go where the Lord calls us to go. JenniferLeClaire.org slash give. Love Australia, though. We do have a house of prayer in Perth. You can use JenniferLeClaire.org slash give. Cash app is dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire. Cash app dollar sign Jennifer LeClaire. You can use the PayPal, PayPal.me slash Jennifer. Jennifer LeClaire, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire, paypal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire. Text to give 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. All of these are listed there on the website. 
at jenniferleclair.org slash give. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Prophet Deb. jenniferleclair.org slash give. Uh, 754-701-2161. Text the word pray. Also, the P.O. Box. If you want to uh, send a book, a check, a money order, a gift, a Starbucks card, whatever it is that you want me to uh, see, a thank you note, whatever, a testimony, uh, you want to write that out, you want to send physical mail, P.O. Box 30563. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. P.O. Box 30563, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33303. Father, I thank you. Text to give is a text to give, not a text to pray. Praise God. What do you put the check for? JLM. JLM. Write to check out to JLM. Father, I thank you for the opportunity to give into your kingdom for the propagation of the gospel. I thank you, Lord, that that you multiply the seed back to the givers in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that you bless all those who are connected to me, all those who hear the sound of my voice, all of my staff, all of my uh, Awakening House of Prayer leaders around the world, all of my Awakening Blaze intercessors and Awakening House Church movement leaders. God, I ask you in the name of Jesus to bless them. All of my employees, bless them in the name of Jesus. All of my vendors, bless them in the name of the one and true living God. God is good. God is good. Listen, this weekend, if you're in South Florida, Lou Engel is going to be at Awakening House of Prayer on tonight. And if you are in South Florida, I hope that you will also go to the Deliverance. It's the Freedom Explosion, Deliverance Healing and uh, Miracle Service on uh, Saturday night. Also on Sunday, Apostle Jonathan Stidham will be in the house. You never know what's going to happen when he's there. He'll also be teaching a leadership training at 4 o'clock, making rapid fire decisions. If you want to watch that online, you can go to ahopu.org to sign up for that leadership training. If you want to join our online campus, you can do that at ahop.online. We just uh, launched a new uh, part of our online campus where you can be, uh, you can receive pastoral care and prayer. Uh, there at uh, ahop.online. You've got to become an official member. And there is an application. We're not going to receive anybody and everybody, not to reject people, uh, but we just uh, we understand that some people are not going to necessarily uh, really be a good fit. Uh, just like a church member, you've got they've got to be a real actual member who wants to believe in the vision and the calling and will appreciate the ministry. You can go to ahop.online ahop.online, ahop.online. My new school of prayer and intercession is available now at jenniferleclair.org slash, I'm sorry, it's school of the spirit dot TV. The new, uh, the new school of prayer and intercession, you can sign up for the vault. There's 12 or 13 teachings. You can get all access to all of that, or you can just sign up month to month and just get one new lesson each month. Prayer of school and uh, school of prayer and intercession. Everything from spiritual warfare uh, to praying for the prodigals uh, to uh, effective prayer strategies, all sorts of stuff. You can see them all listed there at the website schoolofthespirit.tv the school of the apostles starting in March apostolic people sign up for this come to South Florida visit in person we've got the school of the prophetic the next class is a week from tomorrow somebody say a week from tomorrow schoolofthespirit.tv there's lots of free stuff there for you too go there sign up in the name of Jesus get the training that you need hallelujah Israel tinyurl.com slash Israel with Jennifer what do you write the check for breakthrough? You write the checks to Jennifer LeClaire Ministries or just write JLM. And if uh, that uh, should be very clear, I think from the past uh, comments there, you can go back and scroll back and find that. Praise God. Uh, tinyurl.com slash Jennifer, Israel with Jennifer. tinyurl.com slash Israel with Jennifer. tinyurl.com slash Israel with Jennifer. Go sign up up go sign up if you can god bless you listen i gotta go 
Uh, I've got a hungry prophet in a couple of rooms down the hallway, and I hear her stomach rumbling, so uh, at least she disturb others who are trying to nap. I must go in the name of Jesus. I will be back with you on Monday, and I will be home on Wednesday. Won't that be great to be home finally for a few days before we go back out? Listen, we're going to be in London in early March, the prophetic release tour. Go to jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. Find everything there for you. God bless you. I'll be back with you on Monday.